Han Meditations. That means you have always been here and you will always exist in some form. That means you are worthy of everything that comes into your life and you are worthy of all the love and all the blessings that you will get. So love yourself. Welcome to Han Meditations, guys. Today, we're going to be talking about self-love and why it's important. Mm -hmm. Number one, self-love is the connection you have to your higher mind. Because if you don't love yourself, then you can't love your full self, your higher mind, and your truest self will not be feeling that highest level of vibration. Love is one of the highest frequencies that you can feel. You need to love yourself. You need to forgive yourself. You need to put out the energy of pure love into the universe. And once you put out that vibration of love into yourself and into your own mind, into your own atmosphere, love will start to manifest in your life in all kinds of different ways. Once you love yourself, you are unlocking a secret, a secret formula that is within you to be able to attract love on every single level. A lot of people are wondering why they're alone or why they can't find, you know, someone, a life partner. A lot of times it has to do with self-love because if you don't love yourself, then you, the universe will be sending you people that don't love you how you truly need and deserve to be loved. It's the same way with if you're not in a relationship for a long time and you don't find anyone, um, you don't find any suitors, no one's pursuing you, but then as soon as you get in a relationship, you have all these people trying to date you and talk to you. It's because you're vibrating at that level of love and you're feeling that love. And since you're allowed to feel that love about someone else, you start to love yourself and that love starts emanating and people can sense that on you. They can feel that love being attracted to you and it attracts them to you. So you need to have self-love that your vibration starts with love. Once you can fully feel that love for yourself, you can truly progress in the world and, and truly just become a new person entirely because you deserve that love. Yes, definitely. And we see that a lot where people who, you know, they go through a breakup and they are so focused. They just want to find someone new. They want to find someone new, but they can't. They're having trouble with it. And as soon as they kind of just let that go and really focus on them, all of a sudden all these people start coming to them. So that's one example. But I am definitely very well experienced in working on self-love and self-growth in order to get to that place of self-love. That's something I guess my soul really, really signed up to learn in this life because I've definitely been through my share of learning how to truly love myself and I think the, really the first step comes with you have to realize if you truly love yourself or not and you really have to ask that and see how you feel you should be asking yourself do I truly love myself and because sometimes we don't truly love ourselves and we don't realize it and that will lead us to trying to kind of subconsciously fill that void in a hundred million different ways that aren't good for us and we don't even realize why and we don't even realize how and all of a sudden you can be spiraling down into a you know um a rock bottom because you aren't aware of this because to me the self-love it's the basis for everything it's it's not about a half cup half full it is the cup if you don't have that cup you can't fill anything for you, for your, for anyone else around you, for anything. So that is the basis from every for everything, and then you can grow other relationships from there. But exactly. love can't even exist in your life if you don't have it for yourself first. So it's the most important thing in the world, and it also is the basis for self-esteem, which is very important as well. They pretty much go hand in hand. Yep. So some things that you can help to grow your self-love is doing journaling more because we have to get to know each other more you know imagine saying you're pretty much your own best friend because you're with each other well you're with yourself <laughs> you, you can't escape it you're gonna be with yourself 24 7 you have to love yourself and you know journaling getting to know yourself more getting to know the roots of why you don't love yourself a lot of times it may have to do with guilt and forget forgiving yourself for things or you just have to grow your self-esteem more 
and it takes time and it takes effort but that's what really life is about we all have things that we have to work on and grow on and it's a beautiful thing and we should yes, love ourselves yes. anyway yes and um if you want to manifest something you have to put it out into the universe into the ether of space time and let it go with no intention on how it's going to turn out or what the outcome is going to be you have to just be grateful and have that gratitude and self-love you have gratitude for yourself if you're mm -hmm. loving yourself yeah. so having that gratitude that gracious attitude that aura of gratitude around you being thankful for what you already have starting with yourself will help you and it will it will transform your whole reality and when we talk about journaling guys you have to journal with a purpose mm -hmm. it's okay to just start writing things down but you don't want to start writing down everything that's wrong with your life you want to start writing down all the positives about your life you want to start writing down what you love about yourself you want to start writing down positive mantras you want to write down i am getting better and better every day in every way you want to be writing down i love myself infinitely the love for myself grows every single day and every single way constantly through all time through all existence i love myself constantly writing these mantras even if you do not believe it at first you will start to hypnotize your own brain you will start to hypnotize your own mind until you just really truly believe it and then next thing you know you're brainwashing yourself positively with positive information and positive knowledge so this positive thinking is in your brain and in your mind and eventually all the negative thoughts will go away you have to realize that you are not your mind and you are not your thoughts you are the observer of your thoughts the observer of your mind so if you think anything negative let those thoughts come and let them go they do not define you they are not you that is not who you truly are you are an infinite being that exists now in the only time there is if you exist now you are infinite because matter cannot be created nor destroyed and you are living now in the only time there is that means you have always been here and you will always exist in some form that means you are worthy of everything that comes into your life and you are worthy of all the love and all the blessings that you will get so love yourself absolutely and you know really talking about hypnotizing your brain brainwashing it it's it's really not even that because you know affirmations are so so important because you know there's been studies where they literally look at the brain and when these affirmations are repeated 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 and eventually they actually become a true belief that you believe in your head and we can see that the synapses in the brain literally new connections are made once these affirmations become a full belief in your brain so you literally are making new pathways new connections in your brain to fully produce this belief and this new affirmation brought in a new belief that totally you know changed your brain to believe that instead of your previous belief system which was the opposite which was negative so it is a very very real thing there's the science behind it and it is so true we are very very big on affirmations they are life-changing yeah well i'm saying hypnotize your brain as in you're hypnotizing yourself because you don't believe it right so you have to hypnotize yourself to believe it because yes. it's the truth so mm -hmm. you cannot believe the truth but you should believe it because you deserve it. Yes, and sometimes it's tricky to start believing these things, but, you know, other things besides journaling is, of course, listening to hot meditations. It's totally filled with the type of, you know, thoughts and affirmations and words you should be putting into your brain. Another thing we really love is the text, of course, the miracles, and it's all about getting to that real belief system, which is that you are... Just because the fact that you exist proves that you are loved and you are worthy of pure happiness every single second of the day and pure love every single second of every single day. And it just helps you form that belief system as well as how meditations, meditations do as well. Exactly. So remember to love yourself at all times, guys. You deserve it. You heard it from Han himself. You have permission to love yourself. You have permission to be all you can be. You have permission to be an infinite being, to be allowed to dream, to be allowed to get to the next level, the next phase of your reality. You have permission, you have my love, my blessing, 
you have our love, our blessing, and you will succeed because you are greater than you know. Much, much greater. Thank you for watching. Thank you. And if you ever have any questions about self-love, please let us know in the comments below. We're always happy, we're always happy to help any viewers of Han Meditations.